Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday and happy school holidays. I am so happy. Um, I've got Judy here from Fun Mama SA. We stream yes. to my Facebook page, to Judy's Facebook page, my YouTube channel. And just to mix things up, we've got Ali from For a Kid here today. So welcome. Cool. So, Ali, you know, you and I have chatted on and off for years. Um, yeah. But we've and we've spoken on the phone once or twice, but this is our first sort of face-to-face -face conversation, which is really exciting. It is, yes. <laughs> yeah. So Ali told me before we went live that she hasn't prepared. So I'm so disappointed because as you know, I prepare every week for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I like to wing things. No, um, truth is, I wing it every week. It's yeah. it's tough doing a live video each week, and to prepare for it um, in depth is not really my thing. So before the video, I write some very messy notes, and then I just mm -hmm. wing it. Uh, Judy, I don't even know if you write notes. I have notes. She's oh. really prepared. I don't even have notes. I'm just going to. <laughs> yes, but I only have notes. That's what comes out, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first things first, we've got some giveaways. So I'm going to put up my cool little ticker banner. So join in the discussion in the comments to win prizes. Um, the first prize that we're going to discuss is you can win a 250 rand coupon for, for a kid from Ali. So I'm just going to whack up quickly. Um, no, I've got to go find my stuff. I always get confused. So there's a link to uh, for a kid. It's my referral link. So feel free to click on it and buy stuff. Then I earn a bit of commission. Um, so Ali, what I thought would be really good for us today is to chat about Christmas shopping yes. for kids. Now I have not. I, I've kind of started a bit, but I wing it with everything. And this term, we were just talking about it before we push the live button, has been. I don't even know where to start. It's been a nightmare. Um, yesterday, no, on Wednesday night, uh, Wednesday was breakup day for my kids. And the best part of my day was taking my phone and turning off all my alarms. So I've got a, a wake up alarm in the morning. I've got an afternoon alarm, just in case I forget to fetch my children. That's like, get in the car now, go, you're running late. And then that's Monday, Thursday. And then I've got another alarm for Friday because it's a, they come out a bit earlier. So I turned off all my alarms and it was just like, oh, I can just sleep late. I can just wear my pajamas. I, I got dressed for you guys though. Um, <laughs> but it was such a feeling. I'm just so full of this year. I'm ready to just let it all hang out. I think everybody feels the same way. Um, also, we actually yeah. closed up early. We closed up a week early from school as well. And what a relief to not have to wake up so early in the morning and not have to prepare school lunches and extramurals. Oh. And oh, so, so nice to tell you so from that for a few weeks. And for the 50th time in five minutes, say, I told you to brush your teeth. Yes. Go and do it. <laughs> and Why aren't your school shoes on? Oh, yes. Put Where's your, your bag? <laughs> I put my son's, he's got to wear long socks. And I put his sock and shoes on and I put one sock on and I pull it up and he pulls it down. And then I put the other sock on and I pull it up and he pulls it down. And I'm like, whatever, just get in the car. I'm like, no. Yeah, but let the school deal with it. <laughs> so what I've done is my mom is, just my parents are far away and my sister is in UK and my other sister's in Cape Town. And then what happens every year is, Everybody says, so what do you want for your kids? Why don't you organize it? So I not only do I have to buy for my kids and my family, usually I have to do my father-in-law's gift to my kids, my parents' gift to my kids, both my sisters. Um, and it's like, I think last year I said to my husband, I said, if your dad wants gifts, you organize it. You go, you choose, you buy. It's like, what should I get them? Dude, just go get them something. Like, I'm done. You know, it's it's too much for me. So this year, I haven't heard anything from his dad. So I don't know if they got the message. But my mom is getting my kids new bicycles. And um, I think it was last week I shared that, like, the bicycles are so expensive. So 
But then somebody came and said, there's a special on a game. And I'm like, boom, baby, thank you. So we've organized the bikes. We're going to go pick them up today or tomorrow. Um, so that's organized for my parents. And then I don't know what I'm going to get my kids for. I think books. Books are always a great choice. I love, I love giving books. I think just, 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 I always believe that children need to read and they need to encourage reading from a very early Mm -hmm. age. So I would even say for like your first Christmas, okay, for like a, like a new baby first Christmas or for older kids, okay, I think books are a brilliant choice. Anything educational. I think is a yeah, great from, from that first Christmas, those um fabric books that you yes. turn over and it's got all the different feely things. Yes, have you got correct. those on your website? So we don't have the fabric books, but we do have stunning bath books from Melissa and Doug. So those are also stunning. So and we do have books that are called poker poker dot books, which is also Melissa and Doug yeah. range. And they've got these stunning like little dots that you like push them in and then it, gi- it gives you like different perspectives of the story. So they're That's actually quite, they're quite fun and, and they're very different. Yeah. So that's I, also I, I another idea. And then, and then for me, I also like, I like traditional toys. So I love wooden toys as well. Um, so anything wooden blocks, wooden puzzles, anything educational is also absolutely amazing. And yeah, then obviously you've got like your tech kids as well that also want their more like technological stuff. So, yeah, I think what's trending now as well at the moment is like the LCD tablets. So it's not an actual tablet, it's a writing tablet where they can draw on it or they can um, they can write on it, but they don't, it's not an, bless you, <laughs> they're not a, um, it's not actually electronic, it's just, it's, an, it's just an LCD screen where you can write on it, which is quite nice because the kids can draw on it, they can practice their letters and their numbers. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, yeah. I think for, for, for me, what I like to do, and this is for birthday, Christmas, any sort of gift for the mm-hmm. kids, I like to get something that they can, so so instead of getting one huge gift, I like to make a little packet of gifts. Yes. So I I'm always have a book. Yes. I always yes. have something to wear. I always have yes. something to play with. You know, obviously, depending on what their age is, that yes. would change. Um, and then something to eat because, well, you know, chocolate. <laughs> oh, chocolate is always. In fact, <laughs> for my son's birthday last year, I decided we were obviously under quite a hectic lockdown last year, and I didn't know what to get him. So I actually decided I'm going to order. I'm going to do a chocolate hamper. So I ordered like probably about fifty chocolates, and I got oh. this box, and I did this whole like chocolate box for him. Okay, so which he absolutely loved. So, of course, you need to monitor that because if your children eat that all in two days, they're going to be very sick and they're going to have rotten teeth. So, you obviously need to you need to take the present away after you give it. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Well, it's not just the teeth. It's mommy's sanity. No, oh, no, of course. He was bouncing off the ceilings. I learned my lesson very quickly. He was bouncing off the ceilings. I don't think he slept for a week. No, definitely not. Especially an ADD child. So, yeah, it was lots of fun. Um, it was an awesome present, but I don't think I'll be doing that one again. <laughs> no, that's a, a once in a lifetime thing. You do yes. it once and then you, you've done it. That's it. <laughs> so I just want to see if there's any questions for you. Mm. Oh. Okay, so they're talking about the lockdown, going to the beach. Ooh, Alzan would love to get that number tablet from his son. He wants to learn his ABC and he loves numbers. Stunning. And Bongeka, her daughter, loves reading. Oh, Kuratia wants to get the tablet, but she's afraid it wouldn't last long. So what are your, I mean, you obviously not, know your products are quality. Yeah. My products are quality. So it's not an actual tablet that's got games on it and that. It's a writing tablet only. Um, I must be honest, I've had mine now for nearly two years. It is a different brand, but it's still going two years mm-hmm. later. And on the, the ones that I've had, I haven't had no returns on them. So, you know, obviously, it's really Sorry, Ellie, is it... Hmm. Sorry, yes. Sorry, is it the one where the kids can draw on it and then wipe it off? Correct, yeah. So, so that you draw on it and then you just press the button and it clears, and then you can write on it again or you can, you know, you can do your drawings or whatever. It's yeah. nice also for the car as well. 
because then you're not dealing with actual like pencils and crayons and stuff that they can make a mess in your car. So if you're traveling on holiday, it's actually awesome as well to keep them uh, entertained. Stunning. That's perfect. So just to answer Karisha's, just to answer Karisha, I bought one for Hamish when he was about two years old and we've still got it and he's five. Hmm. Perfect. So we've got Naomi saying um, as a special needs teacher, yeah. she totally agrees that educational gifts are the best. Absolutely. So, Annie, what do you recommend for my kids? I've got a boy that's turning eight on the 20th of December and I've got a girl yeah. that's turning 10. So, I mean, I've got the books. I know what to get for the clothes. Um, my mom's getting the bicycles because my finances yeah. are not that lucky this year. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking for something what what do you stock on your website that would be appropriate for um okay so for your daughter does she like pretend play oh yes so i've got a stunning it's a tin um teacup set it comes in in a box which you can carry so if you're going away you can take it with you which is quite nice and it's basically it's a it's, it's got a floral design and it. it's like very um victorian and it's an absolute, it makes a beautiful gift, um, especially because it comes boxed so beautifully. And then it comes with the teacups, the sauces, the little like tea. Um, oh God, my, my brain has gone. I said the words just came, went out of my, my mind. It comes with like, everything that you need to like make pretend tea, basically. Um, so that's very nice. Um, I've also got, I'm just trying to think of the, if they like the pool. Um, oh, I've yeah. just I've just got in stunning like pool hammocks, which are quite fun when they can sit in the pool, which is that is really, really stunning for the kids. Um, and you basically blow up each side of it, and there's like a netting in between. So they, it's sort of like a hammock, but you in the pool, you float in the pool in the hammock, which is very oh, that cute. That sounds amazing. And that's nice for adults as well. That's not just a kiddies one, that's an adult. Uh, you know, if you don't know what to get for an adult that likes to swim, also likes to be in the pool. That also makes a nice gift. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We've just got a whole bunch of new products in, which um, I'm trying to think off the cuff what else has arrived. We've got the writing tablets, which just arrived in as well, which I mentioned earlier. And the new ones actually look like the ones like a blue teddy bear and the ones a pink rabbit. So it's just it's not like a, just an ordinary plain color. It's, it's very, very cute. Um, we've got in, we've got lots of wooden toys. Um, I've got lots of the Melissa and Doug products, which is also they're great for kids. It's also great for traveling as well. Um, I think for your son, I'm trying to think what we've got for him. He's a maniac. Think, <laughs> he's a maniac. <laughs> oh, so do you know what I've actually got? I've got, and, and it's like I've just found all ages love it. I've got a bubble gun. So oh, it, it looks like a bazooka. Okay, and it, it's got like 20 or 30 holes in it. So it blows like like all these bubbles in one shot, like about 100 bubbles as you winding it up. So, I mean, that is really an awesome gift. Yeah, and I, you know, I think that my son loves Nerf guns. Um, and Judy, it wasn't at your house. I think it was at Lauren's house on Wednesday. My son came out with this, I mean, it looked like a machine gun Nerf gun. Oh, <laughs> And there were bullets whizzing all over the place. So yeah. a bubble gun, a bubble gun sounds really nice to me. No, it's stunning. And, no, it's stunning. and it encourages outdoor play as well, which is nice because I find our kids spend too much time inside. They're on their yeah. devices, they're on the TV, they're on their phones or the Xboxes. So it's actually nice to also have toys where they have to go outside and play and get fresh air and run around in the garden. So, yeah. yeah. I love that. And then, of course, my, my daughter will be safer when she's outside with her tea set. Yes. It's more for the younger kids is those sprinkler mats, which is quite oh, nice. You plug, you plug the hose pipe in yes. and then the, the toddlers or the babies, they can sit on the mat and then that's, there's all the, like a sprinkle water on them, which is quite fun also. And that's, that's a nice gift for, for younger kids as well. Yeah, I think also for, for younger kids, I love your range of potty training stuff, especially for the oh, boys. Yeah. So mm. there's that, I don't know if you've still got that in stock, that froggy um, yes. urinal. 
So, so that is one of my favorite yeah, products. Yeah, it's got the suckers, so you can stick it on the wall whenever you need it. And then it's got yes. that little wheel. So they try to pee on the wheel, and then the wheel Correct. turns. It <laughs> teaches them to aim, which your which yes. future daughter in laws will be very happy that you taught them that. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd like to say my son used that, but he still, there's just pee everywhere. No, Maybe. No, also, got those stickers that go in the toilet, right? Oh, or yes. The, so, the I, so I don't sell those. But they are available from other suppliers in South Africa. Yeah. And then you've also got the toilet seat light, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, so the toilet light is also stunning. So the toilet light yeah. is not just for kids. It's for adults too. Um, but it's also great for potty training because it's, it's an automated light. So as you walk into the bathroom, it senses movement and then the light switches on. So you don't have to actually switch on the bathroom light to go in the middle of the night to, to go make your wee-wee. And it's great for little ones who want to be independent, um, but also for adults. So they don't want to switch on the light and they want to just go in and do their thing. They don't have to fumble for the light and wake up, you know, the person that's in the bed, you know, or anything like that. Mm. So that, that's also very, very nice. Quite, quite, I think it would be quite a, a – I'm not sure whether it would be a, like for a gift, but I think mm. that it's just a nice, useful, functional product. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just saying, I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. those things when, when my son yeah. was potty training. My daughter, she's so independent. She just, I don't know, she just started using the toilet and wiping her own bum and, and everything and just like, yeah. but, girls are, but girls my son, do you know what's also a stunning gift as well? It's a nice stocking filler. Sorry. It's, um, we've got the toothbrush holders. And they oh. come in designs like a bee or a ladybug or a gecko. And they come in fun, bright colors. And you basically stick them on the bathroom wall. You can put the toothbrush and the toothpaste inside. And that's actually a very, very popular item as well. Um, you know, because it's inexpensive and it's fun. It, it helps to encourage the kids to, to brush their teeth because it's fun and bright. Mm, and that would make a nice stocking. Would it fit in a stocking? Yeah, it would. Yeah. So, any ideas for um, Christmas stocking fillers? So, Christmas stocking fillers. Um, I'm trying to think. We don't do a lot of small items, um, but that would be one. Um, we've got the info bands are also quite small. I'm not sure whether a kid would be quite excited about getting an info band. It's an ID band that you put on your child if they get lost when you're out and about on holiday. Your phone numbers on them. Um, but mm. that's also quite a nice, useful product now for holiday time. Um, for I'm just trying to think from our showroom what I've got that, um, you know, we don't really have a lot of small stocking filler stuff. But I think, you know, like I think small items like little dinosaurs or little, you know, mm. little dolls or things like that would be great. You know, the odd sweet, of course, for the kids or a chocolate would be great as well. You know, obviously you know, limiting that to a nice cookie, Christmas cookie um yeah I, I think just like small things that that would be um th that they could play with and that they could use but that would be also useful for them yeah i i like um i like putting in you know those little sunglasses from clicks yes. a crazy yes. straw and then we always i always put in those um those chocolate coins i love them they're so much fun because my grand always used to give us those yeah. Um, and then like a pack of cards, you know, playing cards or no cards or something like that. Yeah. Um, bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles always go down. Bubbles are always a winner. <laughs> yeah, always. I've got a question here for you. Mm. And I know, see if I can find it. Um, Kuresh is asking, can the pool hammock fit more than one kid? No, it's, for, it's only for one person. Yeah, I saw that question, and I just, I just had a vision of my two children resting no, in the thing. And I, I, I think if that, I think it would be quite <laughs> awkward. It's not like a lalo where it's, it's solid across the surface. With this one, you've got a blow up on each side and a hammock in the middle. So I think if you have two kids on there, I think it would be quite unbalanced, and they may end up sinking. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I think it's basically one person per hammock. Yeah, so when the kids start fighting, kick them out, and it's mommy's turn. That's it. Yeah, so we've got Karen asking, what do you recommend for a, for a one-year-old? Okay, so I think for one-year-old, definitely either a soft book, a starting coverage reading, um, a building blocks, anything with shapes, 
um, would I would encourage um, anything educational um, that your child can can work with. Um, when she's one, she's going to start um, walking soon. You can get to one of those like pull along toys. A lot of them come with stuff that we, where they've got building blocks that you can put inside or shapes. Um, and you can also do um, puzzles. You actually get nice puzzles that have got like big handles for, for, for young ones. Um, so that they can start learning, you know, to differentiate shapes and start learning the animals or their numbers, depending what the puzzle is. Yeah, awesome. So I've got Crystal here. They're traveling for 10 hours this Christmas, I'm assuming by car. Um, and she's asking about sanity saving mm -hmm. toys. But um, before Ali um, gives some advice there, yeah. I just want to bring up the two products that I've seen on Ali's website. Mm -hmm. um, the one is, it's like a, um, a thing that fits on the back of the car seat. So it's a bag and it's got a cooler bag and it's got all the pockets. It's a, it's a car organizer there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, a car, it's a car cooler organizer because it's got a cooler bag in, in the middle. Where you yeah, can put so, your you know, instead of stuff being all over the car, like my car, <laughs> yeah, yes. you can keep, you know, each person has their own one on the back with all their stuff and their toys and stuff fit in there and food and whatever. And then also what Ali has is it's a, I don't know what the proper name is, but it's a tray that fits onto the car seat. So instead of them, you know, trying to balance a book and everything, you can have the tray with their coloring book and all their pencils, not, you know, going down the back of the seats and down by the feet and all of that. Yes. So, so that is called, it's a play and snack tray. Um, and it's basically, it's, it's got cardboard in the middle and it's quite solid and it attaches to the car seat. Um, what I like about it is that it is it's safe for travel, and if God forbid you are in an accident or there's an impact, the whole thing actually folds over because it is made of cardboard. It's not going to hurt your child. It literally just like folds up um, because it's made of the soft cardboard. Um, a lot of people go and buy those plastic trays to put in the car. So I'm just I'm very passionate about child safety, which is why I started mm. my business. Um, and just a, a tip, a lot of people go and buy those plastic trays to put on their children's car seats while they're traveling so they can draw and they can do whatever they want. It is very, very unsafe. If you are in an accident or there is an impact, um, that plastic tray is going to go straight through your child's abdomen. So I would not recommend that you do anything hard in front of your child um, for them to lean on when you're traveling. Fantastic. And that never even occurred to me. Mm. Um, so that's a, a fantastic tip. Um, yeah, so now let's talk about toys for traveling. I mean, uh, what my number one thing is coloring books and books. Absolutely. So coloring um, books, um, books, the LCD tablet, which I was mentioned earlier, is also awesome, keeps them entertained for hours. Um, I'm going back to the Melissa and Doug range as well. They've got um, a range called, it's a whole travel range, it's called Water Wow. And it's basically a water pen um, that you've got the ready-made colors on the sheets and that the, the kids can um, they can color in with that. You don't have a million colors and land up with uh, crayons, drawings on your windows and drawings on your doors and wherever else. You don't land up with paint all over your car. Um, I think also puzzles are quite nice as well for traveling. Um, I think anything that is is light and easy for the children to grip, if you're not going to be using like some type of um, you know, travel tray to put in front of them to lean on, um, definitely books and um, and like stuff that's easy for them to grip and put aside and grab the next thing. Yeah, I, I did Play-Doh once. Don't, don't oh, no, do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Play-Doh, paint, like anything like that is a bad bad idea you'll have to evaluate your car when you get to your destination <laughs> yeah I, I don't have such great so, ideas for toys and stuff for cars but i can give you a list of stuff to not yeah. do <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and so um yeah about that way as well. <laughs> yeah judy mm. i didn't catch what you were saying no i was going to say what's really great about those water wild books yeah, it's they. You can reuse them. Yeah. So they, oh. once you've used it, it dries. You can use it again. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Nice. I love stuff you can reuse and not just have to 
chuck out. Oh, we've got Naomi saying science kits are great and fun gifts for kids. Yeah, my son loves doing experiments, so that's yeah. always awesome. Yeah, so those are also great, great for, especially for the older kids when you don't know what to get for them. Um, I think it's also nice for them to explore and challenge their minds with the science kits. And you can get a lot, there are lots, we don't put, sell them, um, but there are lots on the market that you can purchase. And lots on the market. Mm. Awesome. So we've got Kuratia asking, um, for just starting out on potty training, which product do you recommend? Now, I don't know if you've got a girl or a boy, Kuratia. I was about to ask. That makes a difference, a big difference. Okay, so I think okay, let's so so let's start off for the boy because I've got boy the boy potty training products on my website. So I've got the so, urinal, which we spoke earlier about, and that is a little froggy urinal that you put in the bathroom up against the tiles, obviously at the right height for your child, for your son, and he can practice uh, basically sitting, standing up, okay, and peeing into the potty. Um, for girls, we don't sell the sitting potties, um, but then you can get sitting potties from like Baby City, from Game Pick and Pay. You no, know, the major chain stores do um, sell those. And it's obviously also personal preference. It depends on the kids. So some kids prefer like their own potty. Some kids like the ones that you put on top of the toilet seat. It's like a smaller toilet seat for them. Um, so I think you sort of have to go with your gut and see um what your child prefers sometimes you have to buy them all until you find the right one for your child and you also need to make sure that your child is is ready for potty training because you can't push your child into potty training if they're not ready um boys are generally late starters they do start later than girls um but i think that you need to also follow the cues on what your child is telling you you know whether they're ready to to start potty training yeah, we've got a, com a comment on that. We've got Taryn yeah. saying her son is two and just keeps taking off his pull-ups and running around naked. Okay, that's, that's probably a, boy a good time to get started. Yes, okay, so that is a boy thing. Okay, boys don't like to be naked. I have found that, um, including my boys when they were toddlers. Um, I think that is a good time to start potty training, um, you know, taking it slow, encouraging him to sit on the toilet or on his potty, encourage him to wee um, in the urinal sometimes um to, you know, to start of potty training the boys sometimes let them sit and then obviously without getting a bit into too much detail but let them wee sitting down um and then progress that into standing um but it probably would be a good time to start potty training if your child's um taking his own nappies off that normally is when it's warm Yes. because especially now yeah. for summer it's always a you good can, time to do it in summer because if your kids are um if they're naked and they need the toilet that's great you can help them with that uh, even if you put the potty in the garden if they're outside playing in the garden um but obviously winter is a little bit more challenging because it's colder so your kids can't run around naked yeah and then you've got all that washing to do when they have accidents yeah. and then you can't get yeah. your washing dry and of course if you've got a tumble dryer i mean hello escom <laughs> no no then you're in, you're in for a one hell of a bill it's very very expensive yeah. potty training uh, exercise <laughs> yeah cool we've got carla here saying fidget toys are a great stocking filler yes. um yes and yes. i know you've got those on your site yes so we do do fidget toys. Fidget toys are a huge trend this year, as it was last year as well. But just the types of fidget toys that have come out. Um, on our website, we've got the poppers, we've got the snappers, we've got the whirly whirlies, we've got a whole range of stunning fidget toys. And what I like about the fidget toys is that they're also nice, they're sensory toys. So it's also nice for the kids that have got learning disabilities that are ADD, for special needs kids, um, it also makes a great stocking filler or a great gift. Cool. So we've got another question here, Marcus. Here in the hammock, hold a wine glass or a beer bottle when we kick the kids out. Very important question. Very important, but unfortunately, you're going to have to hold your own wine glass. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think being that I am a baby and kiddies website, I think having a wine glass holder might be a little bit um, like <laughs> a conflict of interest. So um, I would have to say no at this stage. 
um, you would have to purchase your own wine bottle holder or uh, beer holder like from another supplier. Sorry. <laughs> cool. We've got Lynn. She likes the car organizer and the tray ideas. Fantastic. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome product. I, a lot of my, my products I use myself in the car. And um, and that is one of my favorite products. Perfect. Wow, the comments are coming flying in. Yeah. There is oh, something else that I would actually like to mention as well. Um, just talking about traveling over the holidays, um, especially if you're going by car, is obviously backing your kids up. So we have another, as I said, passion of mine is child safety. So we, um, you know, obviously you need to make sure that your child is in the appropriate baby car seat or in a booster or toddler seat. Um, we do offer a product called the Secure Kit, which is an alternative um, product to a booster seat. It's for four years up and it's a seatbelt um, restraint. So instead of raising your child up for the seatbelt to fit them correctly, like you do in a booster seat, this basically brings the seatbelt down to fit your child correctly. Um, it is crash tested. We've crash tested it internationally. Um, and it has passed under European international standards, and it's also great, especially if you also if you go if you're flying and, you, and you're going to hire a car at your at your destination. Um, it's nice and easy to put in a bag. Um, it's quite small, and you can put it into your bag, and then you obviously attach it to your hire car. Or you obviously, if you're traveling with your own car, you put them in your own car. What's nice also about them is that if you've got a if you've got a, a three kids in the back, you know, it's quite a challenge if they're all in booster seats to try and fit those seats in. So it's quite nice with the older kids to be wearing a secure kit um, just to make sure that they are buckled up correctly. Perfect. Is that the, the thing that fits over the seatbelt yes. and it kind of yes. goes around and, you know, brings correct. it? It's a, it's a triangle, okay. yes, that's correct. Mm, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I've seen those on your side, but I also love that little clippy for the baby seats. So yeah. when the thing comes, you know, when they wiggle, oh, geez. Yes. They so I, wiggle. I developed that um, a good, probably 12, well, my son's 13 now, but I developed that product about 30, about 12, 11, 12 years ago when he was an absolute terrorist of a toddler. And he would get yeah. out of his uh, car, his baby car seat, and as you said, they go like this and they go like that and they're out. And you're on the highway or you're driving and you've got a yeah. toddler jumping on the back seat and now you don't know what to do. So I've developed it. It's a small little clip that just goes across the chest over here. And that will, it's not a safety device. I, I just want to let people know. Um, but what it does do is that when they try and do this, they can't get past that because it is stopping them from getting out of the car seat. Fantastic. Great for Houdini's. Yeah, I, I never saw that when my babies were kids, but I saw it on yes. your website after, and I was like, I so needed that. That is something that I definitely, definitely yeah, need. That is a brilliant product. A lot of the new, um, a lot of the new baby car seats do come with chest clips, um, but this is obviously if you don't have a chest clip and you're finding your child is um, is trying to get out of a car seat, it's really a good idea to to mm. use it. Yeah, and it's also very soft. It's very easy to take out. Um, I'm all, you know, also we, we live in South Africa. If there is, like, God forbid, a hijacking or something like that, it's very easy just to unclip and, you know, take, get your child out of the car seat quickly, um, as opposed to, like, a lot of ones where there's, like, you have, to, you have two hands to, to unclip it, and it, it's quite a thing. So, yeah, and it's nice and soft as well. So that is what you do the child. Lovely. Yes. Awesome. So, Ellie, I'm going to pick a winner here. Okay. I'm going to go with Wendy. Um, Wendy Mpume Satoli. Um, please pop me an inbox on my Kaboki Facebook page with your email address, and then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. It probably won't be this weekend. I'm so burnt out. So, excuse me. I'm, I'm getting slower and slower as we progress towards Christmas Day. Um, but yeah, pop me an inbox and then I will get in contact with you soon. Um, Ali, thank you so much. This has been really fun. Um, it's been great chatting face to face. Thank you. And yeah, thank you for giving us such awesome ideas. You're welcome to stay on the video, but we're going to jump around and do, I don't, I don't know, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of things. Okay, so I, I, I am going to love and leave you. 
Um, oh. I've got work to attend to and um, I've got my child to go and take care of. So Perfect. I'm going to go love and leave you. But it was an absolute honor to be on your show. And Thank yeah, you. I look forward to doing more with you. This was really fun. It was. Awesome. Oh. Great stuff. Okay. Thank you. Have a great Thank weekend. You. Thank you. Bye. You too. Okay. Bye. Cheers, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Hey, wow, that was quite awesome. Judy, you're still with us. <laughs> I am, yes. <laughs> yeah. I might I'm be falling asleep, asleep, but I'm still here. Awesome, you're blurring yeah. oh, okay. I did get to eat my coffee. Oh, yes, my coffee. Oh. <laughs> I nearly didn't make it before the show. Ooh, that would have been Hi, a, everybody. A I see so many eyes. I saw so many highs and I didn't get to say hi to anybody. I'm not quiet. I was just letting Ali chat because um, <laughs> I tend to button quite a bit um, and I use a lot of her products. So um, I didn't want to interfere too much with what she was saying to you um, just because we do. We, we've we been using a lot of Ali's products with Hamish. Um, and one of the things I, I was going to bring up, but she was giving you guys some great advice there, is one of the most awesome products she's got, Lynn, is a, um, it's a grow your own fairy garden, people. So it's what? a flower pot. I know, and I couldn't get it in. Sorry, I would have loved that's for her to explain it. No, we, can, we can get it, but that sounds beautiful. Um, yeah, so one of the things, we did a review with, with for a kid a while ago and one of the things we reviewed i think it was oh gosh i was still in my other house so it could have been two years ago um it's actually a flower pot and it you you plant this little flower guys and your children watch the flower grow and they get to water it and it's got all these little fairy thingies it is flipping amazing and if you're looking for a really great tween young girl even little boy activity that's a really good one because it lasts beyond christmas it's something that you can your child can watch and nurture and like if you if you're like us and you live in a flat there's no pets so a plant is your next best thing and i think it was 200 bucks it sounds beautiful i so, mean that's something my daughter would absolutely love she loves fairies and plants and activities like that and you know she's She's getting to an age now where, you know, toys are not that great. Although she does love having picnics. So I like the idea of that tea set. She loves a picnic and but sitting it and out, preparing and packing it and making food. But um, that but also it, comes, it comes in pink and blue. So, mm. like, it was a no-brainer when I saw the thing. Because we have, like, I mean, I've got a lot of moms who follow my page who've got little ones, but there's some who followed me for quite a while, and our kiddies are all around about the same age, or they're a little bit older than Hamish. So we always try and put something on the page that caters to the older kids as well. And what's really great is that this is something you can reuse. You're also teaching your kids so much with this product. So, yeah, that's a really great idea if you've got older kids or for a niece or a nephew, you know, perhaps someone you don't see that you could... Let the gift linger a little bit longer than Christmas Day. Yeah, perfect. So, that is absolutely stunning. Yeah, so I'm, just gonna pop, um, I'm just going to pop the For a Kid link back again for anybody that wants to go and have a look at her website. Remember that's an affiliate link. So if you buy from my link, thank you. I earn a bit of commission. So, yeah, cool. you were talking about Christmas. You were talking yeah. about Christmas. We actually. Because Hamish is so spoiled, um, our PR, we love you. And um, Hamish is really spoiled throughout the year. Um, I do a lot of toy reviews, a lot of book reviews. So when it comes to Christmas, we like to gift him something. We only gift him one big thing. Um, unlike everybody else, we, we gift one gift. And that big gift is usually Santa's gift. And then we will give him something small from us. Um, okay. So, yeah, so this year, if you remember, AMS were on and they were gifting a toy wagon, I think it was, or a little dog, a little wooden pull-along dog. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. actually, so we've ordered a meter and a half colorful train with compartments that he can put his toys in and play along the floor. So that is actually his gift this year. 
Um, and, and I do that because we love to give back. So we love to use local, local, I know they're in Joburg. <laughs> we love to use local small brands to give, buy up our Christmas gifts from because mm. I tend to find that um, birthdays we support um, all the things he sees like that awesome dinosaur from Jurassic Park or stuff like that. So Christmas we try and give back so that it goes back to someone's home. Um, so yeah, so if you are a small business and you follow my page between now and Christmas, please share on my page because I don't normally allow sharing, but I will authorize your advertising between now and Christmas time. But that is only for small businesses, please not, um, not uh, direct sales. So if you are buying products in, um, I'm sorry, I won't. I know that sounds horrible, but if you are hand making the products yourself, I would love to help you out. Um, pop an advert and I will authorize it as soon as, as it goes live on my page. Stunning. That's an awesome offer. Congratulations. Um, so, Judy, oh, I forgot. I want to just, just give me a second. Chat about something. I know you got something up. Yes. What are we chatting about? Tell me. Do, 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 do. Look what I got. <laughs> I did it. I got it to her, guys. I didn't put mine on because you don't have yours ready yet. No, but you can. See what happened? Guys, what happened is I made two. Hamish and I went to the park with our awesome friend, Naraya from um, uh, Outlet Kids in Cape Town. And uh, Naraya, listen to me. We went with um, Elsha and Naraya fell and she bumped her nose. Um, Lynn, would you mind putting a link up to Fun Mama, please? I see um, Lynn. Okay. You're a star. Thank you. And she she hurt her nose and there was just blood everywhere. So when she came home, Elsha is a lot smaller than I am. And the only shirt I had that would fit her was my behind the scenes shirt. And it was well worth giving it to her because I will literally just make myself another one. <laughs> but you can wear it. <laughs> I was sitting there this morning and I know you don't have yours ready and I think you're coming up to it, but I'm so excited about it that I thought I would just give a sneak preview. I can't also, wait to see it on you. And I'm so glad you think I'm so skinny because it's like tight. <laughs> and then <you're> like, <laughs> if we've got them, we're gonna show them. <laughs> so next week the boobs are coming out, ladies. <laughs> I will try for my other one made next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now, oh, we're all over the place. Okay. Sure, there's a lot of comments. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this about my boobs? <laughs> well, boobs always get good comments, don't they? <laughs> Good moms, like, you know, I, I breastfeed for a long time. I know a lot of you are breastfeeding, so boobs are there, you know. Topic. Tanya says we should just flaunt it. I don't know if they'll pass our videos if we do. Well, the first time I got a little bit flaunted, and I'm like, what? And then she flaunted. <laughs> <laughs> I gave Lynn a shirt and she gave me cream. No. Snap. Happy event. All right. So this, I'm going to be writing my review. It should have been this week, but my back and school and prize givings, dot, 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 dot. My review will be up next week with a giveaway for some of these. <laughs> do you like it? I love it, but I want to show you all something and I'm going to do, I'm getting really close, guys. I have wrinkles and I have glasses marks and I've got really bad sunburn. But if you put nappy cream or body butter up here, it takes all the wrinkles away. I've been doing it for years. I barely use products. Um, and when I say barely, I mean this year is the first year that I've bought this month. Last 
<laughs> it does. So what it does is it works like a bit of a vanishing cream and just tightens up this area. And instead of putting hours of foundation and stuff, because I wouldn't even know how to put it on, I literally use a bum cream or a body butter. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to start. I mean, I've been using this mostly on my tummy and my legs. And I absolutely, I love the thickness of body butter. It's absolutely yes. divine. So, yes, that will be up next week. So, you came and you gave happy events. I can tick that off my list because you, 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 you got oh, in there. No, I was just showing you each other gifts. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> You're ticking stuff you see, I don't really it. <laughs> Okay, so the next giveaway that I want to just announce quickly. Let me just find it. Ooh. Win a Luna and Jelly menstrual cup. So Luna and Jelly, I've spoken about a few times. Um, I'm just gonna pop the ooh, let me find out. I'm getting all over the place today. So the Facebook page, I've just popped that in the comments now. Um, Luna and Jelly supplies like period preparation packs for teens or tweens and I've written a review on my site on the pack that I received for my daughter it is absolutely fantastic um but what she also does is menstrual cups and while I haven't used them myself long I mean my period problems is it's a long painful story but I now have uh the morena in so I don't get much of a period um, I spot every now and then and that's it. So I, I don't have a menstrual cup, but if I still had my periods, like normal periods, I would definitely go for a menstrual cup. Um, so it's it's made of silicone and you can reuse it. And I think it costs, okay, I don't know what the price is at Luna and Jelly, but it can last no, a know. year, between five and 10 years or something crazy like that. And you reuse it. So you never have to buy a pad with tampon ever again. Like, Yes, please. And because this is the last menstrual cup giveaway from Luna and Jelly, there's going to be an express pack, you know, a period express pack um, giveaway coming up in another live video. But this is the last menstrual cup one. She's going to give a pack of five Ferrero Rushes. Ladies, hello. Can I win? <laughs> can, can I win? <laughs> no. Friends and family of mine do not win prizes i'm sorry so i can just see all my it's friends. okay so <laughs> um, and this is to collect in durbanville so if you are able to collect in durbanville if you're in cape town and you're willing to go collect it um just let me know in the comments so i know who to choose for the um you know for that giveaway um Karisha, how does it feel using it i don't know if you're talking about the happy event or if you're talking about the menstrual cup um, and of course, it's two very different things. Um, but the menstrual <laughs> cup, look, as I understand it, it's actually more comfortable than a pad or a tampon. It is, um, it takes, um, I had another lady from a, um, that's got a menstrual cup company um, come on. We did a whole discussion on how to use a menstrual cup. And in the beginning, it's obviously, it's going to be difficult learning how to use it. Um, and getting it right, and you're going to feel, so basically it goes right inside your vagina, and then it pops open, and it, it sucks onto your cervix, and then the blood goes straight into the cup, and you pull it out, so it's very different from a tampon, it's very different from a pad, it's going to take some trial and error, but once you've got it right, I believe it is absolutely superb, um, but Karisha, if you want to check more about that, you can contact Melody from, um, Luna and Jelly, she will discuss it all with you in great detail. Um, yeah, so I, was I, very, I, yeah. I was really, really squeamish to use mine in the beginning because um, I did try another brand and it intimidated me like you could not believe. And I was like, just do this, Judy. Like, it, you've popped seven babies out. It's not that hard to use a menstrual cup. But it really intimidated me. And my biggest, <laughs> my biggest fear was mess. And it is messy and it definitely it, in the beginning and it, it definitely takes time to get used to and the, the first use i i felt uncomfortable because i knew it was there and because i'd never used anything like this but eventually it was okay and all of a sudden it was like oh okay well, this is like nothing really um removing it for the first time was messy 
but it is also something inserting and removing is definitely something you get used to. Like you learn your technique, you learn how your body is, you learn how it needs to go in and come out. And um, I think for me, the long-term investment in a menstrual cup makes it worth the effort. Yeah, I'm gonna pop up a, a menstrual cup. Hold on, I, I actually did a video and a whole thing on how to use a menstrual cup and it was really, I enjoyed it. It was a lovely oh, video. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Can I just put you on the um, And I'll give you a lot of information on that. But yeah, the, the people that I've spoken to that are using it absolutely rave about it. Um, and then Wendy, um, you said that you've got a heavy flow and pads are irritating. Yeah, I mean, I when I had my periods properly before the um, Mirena, it was so heavy I had to wear, like at night, I'd have to wear a tampon and a pad and I still bled through half the time. It was absolutely awful. But the cups are fantastic. And one of the best tips I've heard is um, to sh to get in the shower in the morning and get in the shower in the evening. So if you get in the shower in the morning and you empty it and you rinse it out and you pop it right back in, and then you do the same in the evening again, and that should be like 100% to last you for the day. So, yeah, it is a bit messy. But, I mean, you know, if you want to get gross and, and talk about, you know, TMI stuff and periods and blood – I mean, I used to wear tampons and the amount of times I sat down, I had a poop and then I pooed on my string. And I mean, like, you want to talk about a mess? Like, that's pretty grim. You know, when you've got a poop string and then you've got to get the toilet paper and try like get this. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Yeah, I know. TMI. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So um, we're going to announce that winner soon. But what I wanted to chat a little bit about now is, and this kind of can also relate to periods a bit is that I had a headache the other night um, and I shared about it on social media. So as I was getting ready for bed, my head started pounding and I could feel it was going to be a bad one. And I got into bed and I tried to relax. And as I lay there, my headache got worse and worse and worse. And then I got up, I think after lying down for about an hour, I got up and I took some panados and I can't take anything stronger because I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict. So all the good stuff, you know, like the microdolls and all that stuff that kicks a headache and it's chops. <laughs> you can't take all of that stuff. So basically, if Panado and if Panado doesn't work, then I'm screwed. So I waited. I don't know how long. It, it felt like ages. And my, my headache progressed to a migraine after taking the Panado. And, you know, I can't go to sleep when I have a migraine. And I started feeling nauseous even. And it was like, it was so bad. And I remembered that in February, I was gifted stuff from African Secret. Give me a moment. Ooh, African Secret. And I'll put my review up as well. Let me just go find it. African Secret. Oops. Yeah, so this was in February. I did a review on them. Uh, let's pop that in there chat okay. so i did a review on the, of them in february and i remember that i had this african secret pain relief aromatherapy well um i've also got the african secret relaxing oil well no actually i don't because i've used this one all up so the relaxing oil i put in my bath and i have trouble sleeping i am medicated but i've had trouble sleeping my whole life um you know from basically the time i was born so putting this in my bath helps me sleep very well. But like I say, it's it's completely finished. But this pain relief, I used a couple of times when I was doing the review. I put it in my cupboard and I forgot about it. So the other night, after struggling to feel better with my migraine, I got out of bed. I came and I massaged my face for maybe 10 minutes. And my migraine was gone. Absolutely gone. Wow. I went to bed. I slept right through the whole night. So I'm very happy about this. Also, what's really cool is after I posted about it and I tagged African Secret, they contacted me and they're like, wow, awesome. We're going to send you another hamper. And I'm like, boom, baby. <laughs> I love it. Like, yeah. um, and they're also going to be giving me a 25% discount for December. Um, she's not quite ready with it yet, but yeah, she's going to be giving a discount code. So as soon as that comes, I will let you know. I think it'll be ready by next week, Friday, for the live video. So 
Yeah, we've got Nicole. She suffers from constant headaches and nothing ever works. Not Panados or anything stronger. Um, yeah, uh, Nicole, you must definitely give this a go. But just hang on for the discount code. Uh, we can all do with a bit of discount. Uh, we've got Curatia suffering with a migraine for four four days a week. Oh, no. it's oh. Uh, You know, and yeah, I have found the last, and I think we were talking about this with Ali, but this year um, has been absolutely horrific. Um, this fourth term, I just want to put my Luna Cup competition back up. Um, and I've shared about it in the previous videos, but now with my back pain and my sciatica and all of that, it has been absolutely horrific. Judy, what are you saying to me? Oh, it's not you. I thought you sent me a private me. message. Was it no. you? No, I wasn't. Mess I am on my phone, but I didn't message you. I just put a link up for um, my experience with the menstrual cup, and I just shared my review for uh, Luna and Jelly to my page, but I definitely didn't message you that I know of. Oh. No? Okay. Cool. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I have found this whole last couple of weeks really, really painful. So last week, Wednesday, I went for a body stress release um, session, which I shared about. And then Wednesday, when I went to my friend Lauren from Inspiring Mompreneurs, did you know she's a masseuse? Not did at you? all. I was like, I didn't know this. Lauren is just like this bundle of amazingness, and then it becomes more. Yeah, so when I went to Cape Town, Lauren said to me, remember I was going to give you a massage for your birthday in April, but you know, this year, 2021, dot, 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 never happened. So I'm like, yeah, she says, when you come to my house, I'll give you one. And I said, but I thought you meant like I was going to go somewhere for it. She said, no, I'm a, this is what I do as well. And I'm like, what? So she is, uh, she's an aromatherapist, a reflexologist, and shiatsu practitioner, plus a bunch of other modalities. And I'm like, why wow not so i had a massage by her and then i went for another body stress release session on yesterday thursday and yeah i mean i can still feel it but apparently the lady from body stress release said it's apparently i'm gonna be on my way now so it's been a long road i'm tired i'm burnt out i'm hot full of this year um but i'm definitely on on the mend now so yeah <laughs> I have to tell you that I had moaned to Lynn for about three or four weeks about how exhausted I was and if you know me I am pretty much the energizer bunny and like exhaustion is not something I really suffer from and I thought it was the year and then I ended up in hospital which is why I missed you guys um because my blood was clotting so it doesn't it's not as serious as it sounds um to me it is pretty serious but I I survived a seven centimeter blood clot a couple of years ago. So picking up early that my blood clotted was pretty, pretty um, quick and easy. And it wasn't much. I just had to go in for observation, have a couple of inoculations, uh, well, a couple of injections, a really horrid COVID test. Lynn, I swear I am allergic to needles. I hate them. I want to cry when I see them. But that COVID test, oh, my word. You've had a COVID test done, haven't you? I haven't had a COVID test done by somebody oh, else. My okay. cousin brought me those COVID tests and I've done it myself at home. Okay. And then you do it yourself. It's fine. Okay. I was shaking. I had a, the most amazing German lady do my COVID test. And in her lovely accent, which now that I look back was hysterical because I must have looked like such a baby. Like I'm not worried about the CT scan. I don't care that you need to give me an ECG. You're popping a couple of injections in my tummy let's do this can i not have a covid test please okay so i really sounded like a baby but they did one in my throat and i nearly gagged all over the woman it was terrible so anyone having a covid test my sympathies and thoughts are with you it's it's worse than like can i just give birth again rather because it's not bad. <laughs> i don't want to um but yeah so I came home and I don't take medication. So even like a disprint will put me to sleep. Then I had muscle relaxant. People that relaxed me so much, I couldn't work on Friday. 
I was so deep and so zonked out. It was unbel- people were saying things. They were doing things, Lynn. And I was like, okay, come on. It was horrendous. But I did get up on Saturday and go and run. I walked the, <laughs> the beach cleanup. So I did feel better. But I feel like I've got renewed energy. I feel like I'm myself again. And I don't feel that the trudge and that, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm going to wake up. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't want to know what the nose one feels like. I I know. Oh, Alzan had oh oh, oh, COVID during her pregnancy. Like, I can't, I'm people can't I'm wait until we just wake up one day and COVID is gone. Like, that's, that is my prayer for the whole new year, that we just wake up and COVID is gone. I've, there's something interesting I've been hearing about Omicron, and I don't know if I've shared it in the live videos yet, but my husband oh. said that a lot of people are talking about the fact that the Spanish flu lasted for, I think, about three years, and then it just kind of disappeared. Yeah. And some experts are saying now that the Omicron, yes, it's very transmissible, but it appears milder. And some yes. people are saying, now, I mean, I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist or, you know, um, anything like that, but I'm just saying, and I'm, I, I'm hoping and praying for that this is correct, but a lot of people are saying that this is the beginning of the end. Not the end of the human race, but the beginning of the end of the pandemic. That it's kind of really? like, and I'm, I'm just I, hoping we're all so tired of it. Our virus people and um, those scientists in that they originally said when we all went into that first six week um, lockdown that it was a three year thing. And I remember saying to Brent, I'm quite sure that this is a three-year thing. And he was like, where did you see it? And I was like, on Facebook. And he went, of course, then it must be real, right? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my husband is so logical. And, and I was like, but it was on Facebook. <laughs> so, yeah. Because, so, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm trying to catch up. Um, I have so many brands that I feel like have dropped in the last couple of weeks. If you're one of them, I'm sorry. I am getting there. Um, but my hope to take a holiday before Christmas is not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm working straight through. Yeah, yeah, do you know how many blog posts I've published this week, Judy? Tell me. I want to be proud. Okay, well, please don't feel bad. No, no, do you want to know I how many I it. it was a press release that was given to me. Okay, I did one press release and one blog post. And the blog post was pretty cool. I wanted to talk to you about it later. Um, I wrote why every child needs to eat blue ice cream. And yes, there are two little mistakes I'm going to go and fix up just now. Um, And it talks about the importance of letting your child make a mess. Yes. Yes. Because our messes teach us something, basically. So... I, I wanted to get that out, but the truth is that I'd written the, I'd written it about three weeks ago and was sitting in my drafts. So I got one press release out and one half written one. I put the pictures there. Nice. Well, I mean, making a mess. We're going to make a mess this afternoon. So I haven't used all of the stuff from Zimply Kids yet. So I'm going to use this opportunity. How amazing to are they? Um, this is what my daughter and one of her close friends are going to use. Turn your bath water into glittery goo. My son did the green one a while ago. It wasn't the um, the glitter one, but it was a, a green goo. He loved it. So my daughter and her friend are going to use this this afternoon. I'm going to go fetch him just now. Um, and then we've got some galaxy slime stuff. And we've got some glitter slime as well. So we've got some blue and we've got some pink. So we're going to be we're going to be making a bit of a mess later. And I'll share about that in my stories. And then I hope. I don't promise. I hope next week to have my Zimpli Kids uh, review up. Um, they've used everything else and they've absolutely loved it. I'm just going to pop Simply Kids link into the comments over there. So, yeah, we're going to have a nice we, mess afternoon. We did a Simply Kids do one with a dinosaur and a play tray. And Hamish loved that. And we also did their snow, which is so awesome, especially now over Christmas. So the fake snow mm. is really great. And it's biodegra- biodegradable. So if you throw yeah. it outside, it's safe. 
Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know about the slimes and the, I do know it must sort of be because you're able to water it down and flush it down the loo. It says drain safe, skin safe, stain yes. free, easy clean. I'm pretty sure it's biodegradable. I'm sure, yes, 100% yes. biodegradable. But yeah, so it just washes away. I'm just going to warn that it isn't dishwasher safe. Um, so maybe make sure that your container is completely clear of the product before you put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> or you, like me, I'm, the will pay and I'm not going to put any product in me, so I'm safe. Okay. Well, otherwise, you, like me, will pay 800 rand to have your dishwasher drain <laughs> repaired. <laughs> Okay, but please note, make sure all the slime and stuff is out of your, your dishes before you wash it. <laughs> um, so, Judy, I want to talk about why sins could you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do a winner. Let's do a winner. Hold on. Let me go yes. find a winner. I think we need to wash it and then we can talk why sins. I know. Oh, there's my winner. Nicole Bristow, you are the winner of the menstrual cup and the Ferrero rushes from Luna and Jenny. Congratulations, you are in Durbanville. Inbox me and I will connect you with Melody. Fantastic. Now let's take this banner off. And I'm going to put my next competition up. Win a 250 grand checkers virtual voucher. That's from me to you because Christmas is going to be really hard. <laughs> Finances are going to be tight and you might want to go. You know, if you're feeling a bit hungry, there we go. Um, Fantastic. Oh, we've got um, Taryn's asking about, please share good mosquito products for baby, for a baby boy. Can I? Um, I actually got a post on natural remedies for mosquitoes, but I can't remember what it was because I didn't write it. Elise wrote it. Um, so can I'll be I publishing you, it too. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a brand? Chico has yes. the most amazing, safe uh, baby mosquito products. Um, it's all I used with Hamish when he was a baby. Is the Chico okay. brand. And you yeah, and you can find it in Diskim, Checkers, Clicks, and it's really, really, um, it's price wise. So it's not overly priced and it's not underly priced. Mm, perfect. Um, I've got another remedy, which is not actually a mosquito remedy. It's one my mother told me Ingram's Camphor Cream, but not the normal one. It must be the green one, the herbal. Mosquitoes hate it. So you can moisturize and keep away from mosquitoes at the same time. And then if you do have a bite, I don't know what it's called, um, but that clicks mosquito drawing ointment or drawing, I don't know what it's called. It's a small little jar. I'll, I'll share about it. Uh, we use that. You just put that on. It's really gross. It's like gooey, gunky, sticky stuff. It's very thick. Um, and you put that on and it's, it's so good. Um, Alzan uses lavender oil. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. And also, if you if you burn that citronella candle, mosquitoes don't like that either. So if you burn that at night, um, that should. But sometimes the citronella might be a bit strong if you've got a tiny baby. Yeah. So yeah. So depending on what age baby is, I would say if your baby's under a year or has a chest issue, just be careful with what um, you're burning near them. So yeah. Okay, perfect. And Sorry, then I had somebody. Ah, oh, where is it? Oh, okay. So Jill loves Y Sense. Yay! So I've been sharing about Y Sense, I think, almost every single day on my Facebook page and my Facebook group for I think the last two weeks because everybody seems really interested in it. And I've been with Y Sense since 2015. I've written a review on my website. Um, let me go get that review and I'll pop that in the comments now. So Ysense is a, um, here we go, my review is up there. If you want to join, you can click through from my review, okay? And Ysense is an online survey company. You can also do tasks, offers, no, tasks have been taken away now, but you can do offers and you can play games. And I have earned, I'm just going to have a look now, yesterday, and I'll put this up on, you know, an image up uh, later. Yesterday, I earned $5.16 for the day, which is probably my highest one day earning for y -Sense. There were a number of um, uh, surveys I did. Surveys I did. Plus, 
if you do a certain amount of surveys in a day, you also get a checklist bonus. Um, there's lots of cool ways to earn from Ysense, including downloading games and having your kids play games, and then you earn a certain amount for a certain amount of time. Um, so this has been really fantastic. And it's also got a referral program. So you can refer your friends or anybody else to Ysense to earn. Just take note, one thing that really irritates me, you cannot share your bear referral link on Facebook. This has not got anything to do with Ysense. This has got to do with people spamming it and abusing the link, which people always do with referral programs. So, and then the, the social networks block it, but you can send your yeah. link via what. So, yeah. And then Wednesday, when I was on the road the whole day, Judy, coming to see you, I didn't, I, mean, did you to license. I didn't have a chance to do, you know, get my kids to play any games. I didn't do any surveys. I still earned over a dollar. It was close to two dollars. I think one dollar eighty or one dollar seventy something. Um, and that is only from you guys. Thanks, Jill. I saw you there. <laughs> so I'm earning um, residual income through Ysense, um from other people signing up. And I've got, let me have a look. I've got 85 active referrals. When I get to 100 active referrals, my commission for referral income goes from 20% to 25%. And when I have 200 active referrals, it goes to 30%. So sign up, sign up. Let me see you there. Um, and it's active referrals, not just referrals. So a lot of people sign up, they don't do anything. Um, but they have to have been active, I think, in the last month. And then that counts as an active referral. How are you earning? Slowly. Um, no, in, in a month I've earned seven dollars fifty-one, but that's fine because I'm not on it all the time. I noticed that the um, the surveys are a waste of me even clicking onto because most of them don't let me go through. So I no longer bother with that. I only do the the games. But something else I noticed was like there was one game Hamish really really liked, and in the beginning we were earning quite a bit from it. But then yes. after a while, we were only earning like one cent. And I was like, ah, 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 that doesn't work for me. I'm like over screen timing here. And uh, for one cent. No, no, no. So what I, let, me, what I, let me explain to you how that works. Okay. Yeah. So what happens is when you when you download a new game, you earn a certain amount of cents. If some, some you earn 14 cents, sometimes some you earn one cent. I think the highest earning was 14 cents and the lowest is one cent. And when you first start up and when you first start playing, you'll earn that amount in the first minute. And then after that minute, you'll earn that amount in two minutes. And then after that, you earn that in three minutes, etc. until it goes up to something like two hours. So and what that I've done for one is, cent. So it, it becomes less and less more profitable as you play. Yes. So what I've decided is I will play it to one cent and when it says one cent that game's off my phone because I don't play games so that game's off and we just download a new one which has a higher paying field and we'll put that but because it was games Hamish was playing I did say anything he earns on here from playing games he can have to buy dinosaurs so Hamish is getting some good cash to buy dinosaurs I'm just saying um and also you can only you can only uh, draw out at ten dollars because I'm taking the PayPal option because I'm in my PayPal setup. So what I've decided is if he just leaves that there for the whole of next year, because I don't think that there's an expiry time, is there, Lynn? Like your money can stay there. Your money can stay there for three years and you can cash out. So if I use it as like a savings for him because he really wants to buy that incredibly big Jurassic Park dinosaur that costs a thousand bucks, um, so if we leave it in there and he earns slowly, he's got his dinosaur. Well, that's it. I mean, it's not going to be, and this is, I, I think, and I think this is why the links get blocked, you know, on social media is that a lot of people are like, come, you can earn hundreds of dollars a day. Or hundred. Yeah. I mean, no, that's ridiculous. This is not something that I, I do to pay my rent or pay my school fees or anything like that. This is something that I do that slowly but surely adds up over time. And in about six months' time, I'm like, whoa, Kiff, let's go cash out. I yeah. really need that. Um, and, and just to explain on on the game. So, not only do you earn every minute when you first start, then two, then three, then four, etc. 
at you you have a total earning limit for each game. So you can't just give your phone to your kids and say play games. You need to go into the app every now and then and see, okay, that one is one cent for two hours. Hell no. Delete that game. Then go see what new games you can yeah. download because, and let them do that. And then also there's a total limit. So at some stage, you'll go past two hours to earning nothing, but you can see in the app what games you can earn for and and all of that. So what I do every now, every few days is I go, I just let my kids play whatever games they want. I've got a folder on my phone that says games they play. So they're only allowed to use my phone for that because I'm very strict. And then what I do every couple of days is I go in there and I see, okay, those are the games that's on my phone. Okay, they've capped that one. They can't earn any more. They've capped this or this is not worthwhile. Yes. And I uninstall those games and then I go see what new games are available. I download them. I put it in the folder. So that's my method for doing that. And then on the payments stuff. So, yes, you're right. PayPal, you need to have a minimum of $10 in Ysense before you can cash out to PayPal. And I think it's $10, $25, $50, $75, $100, yeah. $250. Um, you know, so you need to have those like, minimum amounts to cash out. Now, PayPal, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong on this. I think I'm right. PayPal, you can only connect to F&B. Am I right? You, sorry, you can only collect? Connect to your F&B F &B. bank account. Yeah. Okay. So, I, but I do, yeah. So I do bank with F&B. So I use PayPal for any foreign work that comes in. So for me, it's already set up. Yeah, same, same. So I did yes. that ages ago. So, so how you cash out is if you're going to do it via PayPal, once your total amount comes to $10, you can cash out from Ysense to PayPal. And then you go and you, you withdraw your money from PayPal to FNB. Okay. Um, but I do find that whole process kind of long-winded. Um, and I remember connecting my PayPal and FNB Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. But I found it really dreary and, and it was a pain in the ass. And the process of withdrawing from, from PayPal to FNB, you've got to go into your FNB account, then you've got to go into your PayPal account. Then you've got to say, I'm going to withdraw this amount and then it connects to PayPal and then you say yes there. And then it's so I, I find that whole thing very long winded. Um, what I like is Payoneer. Yes. Oh, and so once you withdraw, once you cash out from Ysense to PayPal or Payoneer or whatever, it takes approximately five days for it to clear into your um, your chosen method of PayPal, Payoneer, Amazon, whatever. Um, and then from pay PayPal to F&B, it takes approximately five days as well. Now, if you use Payoneer, number one, Payoneer is quick and easy to set up. It's not this long-winded process. So that's number one. Number two... With Payoneer, you, it takes two days from the time you cash out, two working days, so not Saturday, Sunday, two yeah. days from Payoneer into your bank account. It can also go into any bank account in South Africa. So if you don't have FNB, Payoneer is a great option. But here's the downside. Payoneer, you have to have $52 minimum in Y cents to cash out to Payoneer. Then there's a $2 fee deduction. So when it comes into Pioneer, it's only $50. Then you have to have a minimum of $50 in your Pioneer account to cash out to your, 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 your South African bank account. Um, but like I say, it only takes two, two days. So if you are earning a nice amount or you only want to wait until you get up to, you know, over, over $50, and I think Pioneer is the best option. And um, like you said, you're already using PayPal. I was already using Payoneer. I was already yeah. using PayPal. So it's really convenient for me. My Amazon payments going come into my Payoneer. I can cash out from Fiverr to Payoneer or PayPal. Um, I've got content writing work that I do every week that gets paid into Payoneer. So for me, it's really convenient and, and, and quick. Um, and then you can also cash out. I don't know if you've done this yet, Judy. You can cash out Amazon cards, gift cards. I haven't from them yet because I've only earned seven dollars. Um, but okay. yeah, so yeah, so the first the first thing is to save for Hamish's massive big dinosaur. I don't know what it does, but I hope it shoots fires and sparks for that class. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, 
that's our first thing. And then I'll go and find myself an Amazon uh, card because I am addicted to Amazon. Just so I love Amazon. And I have used it. <laughs> Their, their service was just fantastic. Like, I could not get over how wonderfully early they delivered my stuff. Well, if Sorry, I, I'm in a high flying area. So, now. if I order from Take A Lot or I order from Amazon, it takes the same amount of time to get to me, even though the one's coming from USA. And that's not yeah. saying Take A Lot is slow. Take A Lot is not slow. But Amazon do have a um, offices here in South Africa. I believe they do. Yeah, so I think that they obviously must have stock of certain products here as well. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure exactly how that really works. Aren't they also building their new big offices at um, oh, that lovely place that I like so much, um, the big uh, sports club near the rugby? Yeah, I believe there's, they are. Yeah, because there's quite a big, cons mm. uh, you know, people are up in arms about that. Mm. Cool. I just want to go back to why it's great. I'm happy to talk about Amazon. I love it. So what, what no, I wanted no, to just say no. on Wisense is that a lot of people are saying, and you too, Judy, are saying that you're not qualifying for surveys. It's irritating. It's a time waster. Um, when I first joined um, Wisense in 2015, I thought it sucked. Um, it was then known as ClickSense. So it was a pay-to-click and a survey and an offer and a task website. And I thought they absolutely sucked. I actually wrote a negative review on one of, not on Kaboki, but on another website on Wisense. And um, I had a lot of people come back to me and saying, you have not given it a decent chance. And I'm like, I was on it for a week. I earned two cents. They wasted my time. I could not get a survey. And I was so irritated. And I wrote this cup review. But so many people came back to me over time about my review, people that were regular users. And they said, don't focus on not the fact that you didn't, qualify for any surveys today. Log on every morning, log on every afternoon, follow these tips and just keep at it. And I think what happens is I think the more surveys you do, and I think I think they've got a quality rating sort of system in it. So once you start qualifying for surveys, I think you start qualifying for more surveys. So you just got to get that first couple of surveys in and then you start kind of, it rolls on itself. Yesterday, I think I did five surveys four or five surveys. They were very short, very quick, small amounts, but it added up. So I made over $5 in a day, and I don't think I spent more than an hour on ClickSense, uh, Ysense. Um, I, I think I, I, might, I might find the new year. It's just like it's hectic right now, and even wasting 20 minutes, and I know it's not wasting 20 minutes because I hear what you're saying, but right now for me, just even sitting there for 20 minutes doing a survey that they're going to go, oh, you didn't qualify after I'd written and I've answered all this stuff. It's just like to me a pain, in, to be very honest. Um, but I do like, I really, really do like the app. I think Ysense is really great. I love the fact that it's something that I can save in because I'm terrible. Like if I've got extra cash and my child wants something, I'll just buy it. And I'm really bad. So this is one way that I actually can't touch that cash and I can save for bigger things for him. Well, that's it. You know, and the thing is, I've been I've been with Wisense since, since 2015. For the first two years, I thought it sucked. So I was on it and I just left it there. Um, so I've only started being kind of active, active on it since 2017. But I've earned a total of $1,287 in that time. And okay. most of that time, um, I then... So, so then in 2017, I went back to it and I thought, okay, let me listen to these people. Let me actually, I'm not going to change my review until yes. I've really given it a chance. And for a period of about two, three weeks, I logged on every morning, every afternoon. And I thought, okay, for the first week, nothing happened. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, this is still not right. But I kept at it like they told me to. And then in about the second week, I started seeing a difference. And by the third week, I'd rewritten my review. So it does take a bit of time. You do have to be kind of stubborn and, and keep at it for a period of time for it to start showing results. Um, and then because I'm busy, so I changed my review. Now people started signing up. And then since then, I've been earning sometimes one cent, sometimes a dollar every single day for the last couple of years. 
And that's not from me doing anything. That's from people signing up under me. And yes, sometimes when I have some spare time, I put a bit of effort in and do a survey here and there. But now what I'm doing is I've changed it. I've had people say to me, what is the earning potential? So I'm like, well, I don't know because I've never put my everything into it every single day over a period of time. So now what I've been doing for the last two weeks or so is I have been really every day logging in every morning, every evening, sometimes a bit more on my phone and on my computer. And I downloaded the app. And the difference it's made is humongous. So you need to go in on your computer because of what I've noticed now is sometimes there's a survey on my desktop that's not on my phone. And sometimes there's a survey on my phone that's not on my desktop. I think that some of them are specified for desktop only and some of them are specified for app only. So that's interesting as well. And then yeah, I discovered the games, which I didn't know about. Um, so there's lots of little things you can do to increase your earnings. And I think usually I make $10, $15 a month, which like really not doing much. But now yes. I've earned, this month I've earned $24.66 so far. Last month, $48.79. Today I've earned one dollar sixteen, and I've done no surveys, no games, anything so far. And yesterday was five dollars sixteen, where I've done a couple of things myself, and I've earned referral income. So I mean, forty-eight dollars for last month. I mean, that's what seven, eight hundred yeah, rand. Yeah, that that is at the end of the month. So yeah, we'll see what I get at the end of this month. I'm reporting almost daily, doing screenshots, so that everyone can just see how it's working. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So while we're talking about surveys, I did a competition yesterday, or the day before yesterday on Facebook, for an awesome mm -hmm. baby brand. It was a huge big hamper and I thought, oh, well, that's nice. And it clicked through and it took my details and it hooked me up to a Christmas list of people like insurance agents and finance agents and bloody fish based and a half and a half and a half. And literally there must've been about 40 of them because it was like four pages long and I've started to have them all phone me. So mm. I muted them all earlier and I took a call from their call center to see how they love their service. And I told them that they're a scam. So there's a massive big baby brand out there that is being used to suck oh, you in yeah. to details on Poppy because obviously you sign that it's okay because it's a competition, right? And um, it is a sponsored post. I can't remember which baby brand it was. Um, but please, guys, please be really, really careful, especially over Christmas when you're going on to these competitions because yeah. like, I just feel yeah. if an insurance agent really wants to get hold of me, I'm here, phone me. You have databases. Please don't con me into giving you my details. Yeah, that upsets me. There's been some survey sites I've joined where I join, I do one survey, and then for the next 24 yeah. hours, I get emails, I get spam, for, like that. I'm sorry, that pisses yeah. me in a black. I had a survey ask me my political preference, and I was like, not a chance am I answering that. You know, yeah. it's like... No, that's that's very bad. Um, yeah, I, have seen it. I, I quite like it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying Wisense and I'm going to see how much money I can get out of it and I'll cash out sometime so I can see, it, you know, show you how it all works. Um, cool, now I've got to choose a winner for my 250 Rand Chickas voucher. I think we've covered everything. Um, I'm going to go with Lynn Janssen from Ringsburg. Congratulations. Uh, just got to write your name down because otherwise my brain goes and I have to go check through the whole video, which, yeah, that's tough. Cool. So if you guys have any questions about YSense, um, just pop me an inbox and ask me. Um, I do believe that, you know, look, if you if you don't have the time available, it can be very dreary and all of that. But for me, I, I kind of like it. And I want to see over the next month or two what the true earning potential is if I really put my everything into it, um, where I get those 200 active referrals, where I do all the surveys that I possibly can, let my kids play games. 
Um, the only thing I don't do are the offers. Um, and Judy, I don't know if you've had a look at the offers. I'm on here now, so I can have a look at the offers. Hey, most of them say purchase something, I think. Exactly. So you've got to sign up for a free trial. You have to go past the free trial date, i.e., you have to pay, and then they no, give I you a certain um, uh, reward. Now, what I have seen is that the reward is usually less than the purchase amount. But for me, I'm not handing my credit card details out left, right, center, willy nilly yeah. for crack on without me to earn on Wisense. And then also they have lots of games where they say, um, and this is in the office section, not on the play game section, in the office section, they have like a play this quiz, but you have to get 100% and it's bullshit questions. Um, or they say, find the Pokemon. And then you've got to go through 30, 40 pictures where you've got to find the Pokemon. It's easy in the first picture. By, by the time you're on picture 10, it's like, I'm sorry, there's no Pokemon in here. There's a yeah. couple of great spots all over and you've got to say which square the Pokemon's in. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. I don't see a Pokemon. If you get one picture wrong, they don't pay you out. So you sit there for three cents searching for the stupid Pokemon that does not exist. So <laughs> yes, my sense is fantastic. Not all of it is great. <laughs> don't I, I think for, for me, the I like I don't play games generally. Um I, I do like a good game of solitaire. So I did find a solitaire and I must admit I played that. And I found when we first signed Hamish. Yeah, when I first signed Hamish up, the kids were playing against each other and they kept just so it was this little game where you had to build up your little worlds and they kept destroying each other's worlds. And then like I was so distraught that Hamish's little world was now destroyed that here I was at eleven o'clock at night busy fixing his world. Okay, thank goodness we've got those ones. <laughs> and the kid destroying his world and killing his pets and <laughs> the first time they attacked because you, you link it to your Facebook account. Yes. So my kids came in, they're like, ha ha, we attacked Judy, we stole all of her coins. And I'm like, it's not Judy, that's little Hamish. And then their faces drop. They're like, oh, what? So so every day I go in, I let them attack Judy, i.e. Hamish. Yes. But then every, at the end of every day I go in, you can send gifts to other players, and then I send them maybe some <laughs> coins and some cards and some free spins. <laughs> Every night, just checking that his little world was okay. <laughs> yeah, but during the day, they bomb each other out, and then at night, Judy and I gift each other stuff so that I get to in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was, we were actually playing against each other. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> How, how do you relax as a blogger? We kill each other online. <laughs> we play Coin Master and steal each other's shit. <laughs> the Coin Master is no longer sending us money, Lynn. Yeah. So one last thing I want to just quickly, quickly say, and I put this on Facebook and on Instagram late yesterday. We went um, for a spur of the moment lunch with my mother-in-law. So she looked after my kids when I went to body stress release. And then when I came out, she said, no, she'll take them for a milkshake at Charlie's. And I said, oh, Charlie's, I've never eaten there and I want to go. Because my husband had told me a while back, he says, that man can cook. And that man is the dad of one of my daughter's friends at school. So I've always wanted to go. Um, but it's because it's important. And it's not like on my way anyway. So I said, yeah, okay, cool. Let's go. And but let's have lunch. Let's not mess around. Oh, that man can cook. Love more. Oh, what a nice man. His name is Love More. It's Charlie's Brew House. Um, and he's the head chef. So we went there and I ordered a mushroom pasta. It oh. had mushrooms, it had peas, it had spinach, it had courgettes, baby marrows, you know. Absolutely divine. And it arrived in front of me, and I thought, good lord, that can feed me for a week. I can eat of that every day. <laughs> oh, I ate until I started feeling not so lacquer, you know, because it was so good. Um, so I picked out a bit, but I mean, I did not even get through a third of that bowl. Absolutely oh, wow. fantastic. And there's nothing kitty about the kitty burger. It's like a burger. Is it in Lebanon? 
No, it's in Port Owen. So it's Port Owen is, is basically in Feltriff. Okay. I'm going to write a review. It was fantastic. My daughter had a pizza. My son had the kiddie burger. I had a pasta. And my mother-in-law had the chicken livers. Peri-peri chicken livers. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice. Awesome. And very pretty. It's on the marina. So, you know, you've got the little bit of water there. It's stunning. So, yes, I'll write a review when I write it. I'm making no promises lately. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you're not promising because I was going to say, like, how long is that list now? Because my list is <laughs> slightly long. Yeah. I've had about 40 posting drafts on just topics I want to share. I've got Taylor yes. Labo, Tokyo. I need to write about happy events. I've got the slime. I've got, I mean, I don't even know. I've got the review for Charlie's I want to write. I'm busy with, like I say, I'm busy with about 40 of my own posts at the moment that are like half or just ideas and stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm burnt out. I'm done. I'm going to, yeah. tomorrow I'm just going to sleep. That's it. I don't. Netflix. I've been feeling for a long time that I'm not able to actually get the time to write the blogs that I want to write. And so mm -hmm. yesterday I announced that Lynn got me out of my video phobia. Um, I have a... You, you did. I have a new video series starting in the new year. So we have a, a YouTube um, page, and I will put a link on, and I'd love it if you guys could subscribe. So far, Hamish has got a lot of, there's a lot of toy reviews on there, and there's a lot of book reviews, and, and Hamish and I doing activities. Um, but from the new year, I'll be starting um, a parenting series. I mean, 30 years of parenting and seven kids. I think I've got a few things to share. And one of, the, one of the things I really want to share is how I'm parenting quite differently with Hamish to how I did with my older kids. Um, and the first topic I'm, I'll be talking about, and that'll actually be out before next year, is inclusion. And because mm -hmm. we're so, you know, when we say we want to raise inclusive children and all of that, and we tend to um, stop at race when we talk about inclusion. And we're not really discussing inclusion of children with special needs or of different religions, of um, different social brackets. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, so the kids were at the park the other day and they were playing and um, a kid, there was a child with special needs who bumped Hamish. And, and I really want to explain how on his level I was able to help him understand what had happened, Hamish that is, and help him to become more inclusive of this little boy on this little boy's level as well. And I feel that these are conversations we're not having. Um, and I really, um, I usually shy away from these conversations on my blog because one, they're quite pretty, and two, am I gonna get the correct tone across? So my new series, Lynn, is, it's gonna be face to screen. And um, yeah, so if you have something you want me to discuss, please just pop me a message for that. Um, I did put a video up yesterday explaining um, that is on my, my Facebook now. One of the other things that I'm so proud of is... Oh, wait, stop. All this feature stop, stop, stop. Where do I find the link for that? For there the video. Is current so people can sign up. The video sign up your so our, YouTube channel, our YouTube channel is Fun Mama SA Blog on YouTube. Okay, so it's going to be on YouTube. It will be on YouTube. I will not share it. Um, I will share a link once I publish a new video on Facebook and on Instagram, but you will only be able to watch it on YouTube. Okay, but if anyone wants to subscribe now, the link is going up to Judy's channel. Sorry, I just wanted to put that in the comments. Now, now go, go. Thank you. Okay, so the other thing that we're really proud that happened this week was what was featured us again. So excited. Ooh. Um, I know. So we Fun Mama featured with our crafts that we during lockdown. I started a page called I think you roast about it called Fun Mama Rainbow Kids, and it was to share crafts and ideas and ways for parents to keep busy. And um, what was have featured us? I think they featured us in April with some of the crafts, and then they featured us again now this December. So they're in their world newsletter. You can find a whole lot of our 
cross in there. Um, but also with that, um, you would also notice that my mama has taken a whole new look. We've got a new logo and um, we are now very, very niche specified on each channel. So um, if you're looking for the crafts, activities and the homeschool ideas, you will only find those on my, fan, my Rainbow Kids group. If you're looking for our general blog stuff, that's on my Facebook page. Instagram is really just going to be for my brands because I still have a love-hate relationship with Instagram. And um, YouTube is going to feature us a lot more. Uh, my blog, as always, will have everything on it because I love my blog. Uh, but yeah, so we, we're going in a whole new direction. Um, I'm trying to cater to the audiences that are on each platform. And I would love it if you all just sign up everywhere. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so this is the third time we've been featured by Woolworths. Oh, stunning. Well done. And Jill says, well done. So I Thank got you. a question now from Priya Governor. I don't know if it's for me or for Judy. She says, how do you cope with everything you do? I'm a full-time mum and that alone drains me. So Priya, my first question to you is, what makes you think I cope? Because I'm breathing. <laughs> that does not equal <laughs> coping. Um, you know, this Friday video, it's not planned. We bring it all the way. Trust me, I sit down at 5-2 and I'm like, what am I going to yeah. talk about? And I scribble some very, very messy notes. Um, yes. And I think that's the first thing is I think that appearances can be deceiving. And one thing I've learned this year is that, I don't know, a lot of people think because I go live every Friday morning that I'm coping and doing well and I'm winging this parent thing. Um, no, I'm breathing. I'm still alive. And I feel right now, I honestly feel like I could just shut my laptop, curl up into a little ball under my duvet and wake up in 2022. That is where I am right now. Um, I enjoy my live videos. I'm not going to harp on about how I'm so tired, my back, my this, the kids, the school, the, you know, um, but just because I don't push that in my video, um, it doesn't mean I'm hiding it. So I just wanted to put that out there. And in fact, Ali, before we pushed live, was yeah. telling us how she's struggling so much. And every single mother that I have spoken to just about this whole year has told me how, yes, they're breathing, but they're not coping. So, yeah, I mean, all I can say is that I think it's going to get better. I'm hoping and praying it's going to get better. Um. But don't, don't look at, especially on those glossy Instagram photos, not of me because mine aren't glossy, but, you know, those, those, <laughs> and those pe people share more what they want you to see than perhaps what's really going on. So hang in there. Know you're not alone. Um, and, and my other bit of advice from my mother is just lower your standards a bit. Uh, that's the best thing you can do right now. Those dishes, if you don't wash them today, I can promise you there's going to be a pile of dishes tomorrow. If you wash that whole thing of laundry today, there's going to be another basket tomorrow. It's really not that important. Do whatever the hell you have to do to cope. If you need to take a nap during the middle of the day, if you can, just do it. Don't that guilt and all yeah. that cup of expectations and what you should be doing, chuck it out the window. Um, I, I, I've been, I used to be very strict with screen time with my kids, but you know what screen time equals? It equals a hot cup of coffee. It equals a bath without my kids flying in there screaming or, or crapping next to my head, you know, in the toilet right next to me. It equals being able to have a five minute nap or let them go for an hour, an hour nap. Um, you know, I, I've let things go. I, I think, oh. I think from my side, it's, um, like if you have a look in my house right now, there is a pile of dishes waiting to go in the dishwasher, which will happen after this live. But um, I try really hard to stick to a routine and I'm really strict, Lynn will tell you. Like, I mean, the poor kids actually had to clean up Hamish's room before they could go anywhere and everything goes in the right boxes. And no, it's true. It's everything in the right boxes and I don't make extra work for myself at all. Um, if you would like to to play in the room, pick the box you want to play with, and when you're done with that, put it away and you'll be fine. So we have a lot of these small rules that help me because I don't have a domestic worker. I do stay at home um, and I teach Hamish and I do my work at home and still run this house and hope it doesn't look as messy as it 
I feel it does. Um, but no, really, but there are days where I'm just like, this is just too much. You know what we're doing today, Hamish? We're going to the park, which sounds insane. It sounds so completely insane. If you have a complete list of work, why did you just put it over there and take your child to the park? And I'm going to tell you why. I will not get through that load of work. If I am anxious and I'm stressed and I'm trying to do more than I physically can, I'm not going to get that done. So the idea is to stop, do something that doesn't require you focusing on all of that that needs to be done, unless it's obviously urgent, and then come back when your mind is in the right frame to do it. But I mean, I was saying this, the last couple of weeks are hectic. I feel like I'm, I'm swamped, I'm overwhelmed. I'm sitting here smiling because it's a great day and I smelled the, the ocean this morning and I got coffee and it's alive. But that doesn't mean that we don't have those pressures, we don't have those stress. I think it's just in finding a way that works for you. Because like, it wouldn't work for me if I went and sat in the bath or I, I took a nap or something. It's not within my nature to, to do that. It's in my nature to continue you know, playing and, and being full of fun and energy and all of that. So for me, I had to implement a set of rules within our home that made my life easier. It's also about phoning my husband going, yeah, this day didn't work out. What are you bringing home for supper? You know? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I did that the other day. Yeah. 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 You totally have to. And, you know, Judy, I love what you say about you're not going to get through it all anyway. So stop trying. You know, and it's not about saying I give up, I'm a failure. It's, it's no. looking at it with reality saying it's not going to happen anyway. And it's not like a giving up. It's a truth bomb. So why don't I go do something that, fills me up, that fills my child up, that makes us happy so that I have the energy, I've filled my cup so that I'm able to get some of that done. And I think, you know, what I used to do is I would just push and push and push myself. Yeah. And I started a while back, like my kids, the first time I did it, they were just like, what the hell just happened? I was going, you've got to be quiet. I've got to finish this. I've got to finish this. I'm on a deadline and this and this and this and this and this. They were crying. I was worked up. I was getting... And suddenly I just thought, F this. Yeah. I closed my laptop. I didn't even save my blog post. I just closed my laptop. I said, get in the car. And they're like, what? What's happening? I'm like, we're going to go eat ice cream. And they're like, I'm sorry, what? I, said, I need to just go eat ice cream. I need to go sit with you. I need you smiling. I need me smiling. I need ice cream. And they were just like, what? Let's go. And I mean, we went, we had an ice cream. We sat on the beach. And you know what? We were happy. We came back, they were and happy, I was relaxed, I did my work, not everything I wanted to achieve for the day, but it, it, it changed the whole mood beautifully. If you remember the, the last Friday live I did before this, Hamish was everywhere. It was a very long two hours for him. He was just, yeah. and I had so much work to do that day. Guys, I had competitions that needed to go out. I had blog posts that were going right me, and it was just like, whoa, this boy cannot stay in here any longer. One of us is going to kill the other. So we put our shoes on and we took the longest walk to the beach. We had ice cream. He went and bought himself a little treat. We came back. He had a nap. I got my work done. I still got it done before the end of the day. It, and the other thing is delegates. I'm bad. I struggle yes. to delegate because nobody does it the way I want it done. And then I feel I need to go and do it again. It's a very big problem I have and I should work on that. But delegate. Yeah. And then the, uh, hands up for the hubbies that are doing a fantastic job. My husband, since lockdown, I don't know what changed. I think I changed. I lowered my expectations. My husband didn't. <laughs> 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 and I think my attitude, I think he came home the one day and he's like, what happened here? I said, what happened here is I didn't do anything today because I couldn't get to it. And he started cleaning. And I'm like, what happened here? So I don't really delegate that much, but he is helping out. He's being fantastic. I have spoiled my husband rotten. When I met him, he could clean a house, he could do washing, he could do dishes. He was amazing. Like I've never met such a domesticated person in all my life. I was like, my mother-in-law did well. Then he married me. And I have no idea because his expectations clearly lowered of him. Himself and he expected that mine 
So the other day I asked him to sleep and oh my word, I found his inner 16 year old grumpiness come out and it was quite funny. And I laughed, which is probably not what I should have done, right? But I laughed and it's such a good thing we've got such a good relationship because he looked at me and he shut up and he finished sweeping. <laughs> but no, he's, he's really good at like <laughs> bringing the hope. We all know, I said, Brent, I need you to help me do dishes. He buys me a dishwasher. Like the washing machine broke and I was washing in the bath for two days, people. I did it when my kids were little and anyone's still doing it. I feel your pain. And I the bathroom was... Yeah. After my daughter was born. No, the bathroom was... It was just wet washing everywhere because, of course, it doesn't dry in a flat either, right? My husband yeah. had that washing machine very, very quickly. Okay, so he's really good like that. Like, I'll phone and I'll go, I don't want to cook. And he goes, I'll bring something. Or we can look at... So he's really good like that. And he's great with Hamish when I go, I need you to take Hamish. But... He's really, really forgotten his domestic skills. So Wendy says she feels bad when her husband does stuff around the house and cleans the yard. Why? I, you know, yeah, I was and say, why? this is something I find very interesting is when my husband and I first got married, I would feel so resentful when he came home from work and I've been busy with a kid all day and I've been working all day. And the house is dirty and I start cleaning it and I'm mopping around his feet and he just sits and he watches TV. Yeah. I get so resentful. Why is it that if I'm sitting watching TV and he's not sweeping the floor, I feel bad? Why? What is it in within us that, I don't know, there's this like feeling of guilt? <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's because we're conditioned that way. You know, South African women in general and especially South African women, we are taught to look after the men in our lives really, really well, starting with our sons. And my eldest daughter actually brought it up. She was like, all you ladies spoil your boys, but you're kind of hard on your daughters. And I looked back and I was like, mm, yeah, actually, because I was preparing you for motherhood, but I wasn't necessarily preparing my sons for the same fatherhood. Mm. And, and it was, you know. Oh, excellent. Melody's husband performs his husbandly duties. I'm going to read into that what I like. <laughs> Cooks clean you and in house training. <laughs> our, big baby. <laughs> our husbands are our other kid. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Awesome. Ladies, I'm going to run because I'm going to try to have a bubble bath before I fetch my kids because I just need that and I'm not going to feel bad about it. It's my... If I can on a Friday after my life, I have a bubble bath just to. <laughs> Candace wants Melody's tricks for getting her husband to do his husband. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> I'll leave you guys to discuss it over there. <laughs> awesome. Have a wonderful Friday. Thank you, ladies. And I will still be live all the way through festive season, I hope, depending on load shedding. And yeah, I plan to. Um, so yes, have a fantastic weekend and I will catch up with you soon. Thanks, Judy. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye. Bye.